Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to this channel. My name is Valen Fee. Today we want to learn how to use calculator to solve questions involving trigonometry. And we are using the 901 ES Plus edition of the Casio calculator. So now let's move. If today is the first time you are seeing this channel, then kindly consider subscribing so that you will be notified of all future updates. And notice, this platform is intended to make mathematics easy for everyone, especially in the examination room. Okay, so let's go. If tan x is equal to 3 over 4, and x is from 0 to 90 degrees, evaluate sin x and then b cos x. Okay, so now how do we use the calculator to solve questions involving trigonometry? To do that, you must always remember to clear your calculator. Okay, and to do that, you press shift, you press 9, you press 3, and then it's equal to. Then your calculator is cleared. So the step for clearing, shift, 9, 3, and then it's equal to. Then you have cleared the calculator. Now, for us to solve trick questions, we need to change the angle. Okay, this question, you need to change the angle. So this one, you can see D here. D here means your calculator is in a degree mode. Now, we need to change the degree into radian. So to change from degree to radian, you first press shift, and then you press start, and you select 4, okay, radian. So you select 4. Now you can see that the D has been replaced um, with R, meaning your calculator is now in a radian mode. Now, you must also bear this in mind. Whenever you are entering this onto the calculator, whatever the question gives you, you are going to enter the inverse of that. So example, if the question gives you tan, when you are entering, you must enter tan inverse. If the question gives you sine, when you are entering, you enter sine inverse. When the question gives you cos, when you are entering, you enter cos inverse. Okay, so now let's enter this. And like we said, the question has given us tan. So when we are entering, we must enter the tan inverse. And to get tan inverse, you press shift and then you press tan. So we now have tan inverse here. Now, the question has given us 3 over 4. This is a fraction. So to enter this fraction, you must click on the fraction button. And on the calculator, this is a fraction button. So you click on this. We have the fraction. Now let's enter our 3. Then you go down. You enter 4. Now, you can see that the cursor is down. Okay? We have to close the brackets. But the cursor is down. If you close it this way, it means it is going to um, close it down. So look at it like this. You see, we don't want this bracket to be down. We want it up. So we erase it, and then you move the right arrow key. You click on this, and then the cursor will move up. So you see, by clicking, it has now come up. When I now close my bracket, I have a complete question. So after entering the inverse of what the question gives you, now you are going to press the equal sign so it means i have now entered this and the tan inverse of what i was given is this now after pressing the equal sign you must save what you have gotten into any of the alphabets here okay so we are now going to save this into any of the alphabets from e up to m we are going to save this and if you have not watched our video on how to save data, kindly look down the description um, box and please click on the link and then watch our video on how to save. So how to save this? Okay, all you do is that you press shift and then you press store and then you press any of the letters you want to save it to. Now, because the question says tan X, that means I want to save mine to X. So I have pressed shift. I press store. 
now I am going to press X so like this so this one the arrow you are seeing here meaning I have saved this okay to X okay so now when I come back now let's see if we press tan X are we going to see this so let's go so let's press tan so tan and then I'm going to add X so to get X you press alpha and then you press X then because this bracket is open it is wise that we close it so let me close it so if I click tan X what will I get so it's equal to you see you are now seeing 3 over 4 that means that tan X is now 3 over 4 okay and the question says find sign X okay now because we have already saved this on the calculator now let's enter sign and then X let's see what we get so let's what is sign okay so sign is here and then we are going to enter X because sign X so alpha and then you press X once again remember to close the bracket so I close the bracket you press is equal to what you get you see so sign X is given as 3 over 5 is that what we had here correct okay then let's now go over and then look for cos X so once again you only press cos and then let's bring the X so to do that you press alpha and then you press on X then you close the brackets and then it's equal to so you see this is how easy your calculator can actually solve work.